happy friday it's friday finally and guess what i'm officially out of office so the others have been prepared i don't want to hear anything from anybody until the 30th so i'll be back at home at work on the 30th i am definitely going to enjoy this time i like have a lot of plans for like productivity and just being more intentional about my personal business ideas and stuff like that so i'm super excited for you know these actual 10 days straight off of work of course there's some weekends included in there but first i am headed out to mexico to celebrate my friend's birthday so we leave on sunday we'll be back on wednesday and then the rest of the week i'm off but from now until i go back to work it's all about content it's all about you know trying to really plan out the steps to stand up my business idea that stuff will be shared a little bit later uh, i'm just like right now in the beginning phases of it but but yeah i i'm like super excited for this time to just like really you know put my head down focus on the things that i want to do personally i enjoy what i do at work but I feel like it's important for us to have things for us, for ourselves to focus on, you know, should anything happen or just things for us to focus on for ourselves so we can create like opportunities and legacies for our people. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling. So today is Friday. It is 10 o'clock. Uh, I have somebody coming in to do some carpet cleaning this morning, but Michael is here because his girl, his friend... <laughs> is coming um to visit for the weekend so i'm just waiting for the people to come because i don't want i don't want to miss it what sorry y'all i'm just waiting for the people to come because i don't want us to miss you know them by me being gone and michael works overnight so he's like trying to get all the sleep that he can get so i'm just waiting for them to come and then once they come i'm gonna head out because i have a list of things to do today not too much really the only thing that i have to do today is get my hair done so i finally found me a natural hairstylist that i'm gonna try for the very first time today uh and i the appointment that i set was very reasonably priced uh other other uh stylists have like new client appointments and are like 275 this one was like 175 um but it's like the new client appointments are basically reviving it's called reviving curl revival or something so i get like a deep treatment a wash and a style and then like a trim or whatever in this appointment and i think after this after this the maintenance appointments are like 60 75 dollars or something like that which is like makes sense for me so I'm hoping that that all goes well um, because I really want someone else to take care of my hair so it can actually grow and I can retain length. I also bought a wig today. I know y'all I've tried wigs before. I don't know if I ever showed it on the on. Yes, I have. I had a video a while ago where I had bought this wig and it just wasn't giving what it needs to give. And then I realized, well, maybe I need to get like, uh, you know, curly wig. So I got I found one on uh youtube this girl named amira she posts videos about wigs all the time so this wig was from this company called love me harry you guys probably already heard of it but it's a bob curly bob wig so i'm super excited to get that because i feel like okay since i've cut my hair which i usually don't cut my hair in the winter time i usually let my hair grow in the winter time uh in fall and winter time so i feel like i'm gonna need something else so i uh, bought this wig and I'm hoping that I can get comfortable with it so so yeah so I'm going to go I'm gonna head out once the people get here so I'm gonna probably leave out around like 11 maybe 12 because I want to go do some last minute shopping for my trip I have some stuff for my trip but if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok you know that I am well let's just go see if we can find one last thing <laughs> so uh so i'm just gonna go do a one last thing type of shopping because where i'm getting my hair done is um near the galleria mall so i figure oh, okay well i'm gonna be needing to be over there anyway the traffic is always bad my appointment is at 5 30 so i'm probably gonna go over there around lunchtime and do my little shopping maybe grab a little bite to eat and then head to my uh, appointment uh after so that is what we're doing today I'm also editing to post a video the last week, last week's vlog, and then I'm editing, 
I have two vlogs to edit. So I'm editing and I'm going to be posting vlogs. So yeah, I'm just going to enjoy the rest of my morning, sit down on the couch, make myself a coffee or something and just relax. So I will see you guys when things start getting interesting. I'm headed out. I was going to try to vlog on my camera, but I can't get I can't get it detached from the tripod. So I'm going to have to worry about that later. I need to figure that out though at ASAP because I I don't I don't need that to be happening when I'm on vacation. So anyway, I just fill my water up and get me some snacks cuz I'm going to head to the mall. It is 12 o'clock. I'm going to head over to the mall and just kind of shop around and then I'll probably get something to eat cuz the beauty shop that I'm going to is 6 minutes from the mall so it's gonna be a full day outside and i'll see y'all at some point during the journey so talk to y'all later because I just finished editing a reel. If you follow me on TikTok, I mean, if you follow me on TikTok and Instagram, you probably already saw it. And if you have not, please go and like it and share it and do all the things so that, you know, it helps my content. Anyway, I am just now finishing the mall. I, got, I left out of the mall maybe like 15 minutes ago. And now I am just sitting in the car. It's three, I mean, it's 3.55 and my appointment is at 5 30 so i'm just killing time at this point um i think i'm gonna go to home goods because i saw home goods down the street but my uh the place where i'm going to get my hair done is only eight minutes away so i have like hella time um but i like to be early and on time and all of that so it is what it is but while we wait I thought it would be cute to do a to do a what's in my bag. I am today I am carrying the jelly tail feezy. And I figured, you know, people probably wonder how much you can actually fit in this bag. And you can actually fit a lot of stuff in this bag. So uh my essentials going out of the house, I'm always one to be T B E tiny bag energy. So uh I but I still need to have, you know, my essential stuff. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I have in my bag. So first of all, this is the bag. It is the um Telfar Shopper tell four times melissa shopper and it's this jelly material if y'all remember melissa from back in the day those shoes tell four did a collaboration with melissa and i think it's still doing the collaboration with melissa where they created these these jelly versions of this bag that are stadium approved so it's just like the shopper the mini shopper it has the two handles on the top and then it has the two long straps uh, that you can do a crossbody with. It does have like a really, really distinct scent to it. it. It doesn't bother me that much anymore. I left it in the car with the windows down um, when I first got it and that kind of helped, but it still has like a little bit of a licorice smell to it. If that's the only way that I can describe it. So, okay, I'm gonna stop rambling about the bag and I'll show y'all what's in it. So, the, let me take these glasses off. So I'm gonna hold the bag up here so y'all can actually see that I'm pulling the things out of the bag. So the first thing that we're gonna pull out is my hand sanitizer because we're still on that, okay? Um, you gotta keep your hand sanitizer with you at all times. 
The second thing in my bag is my Louis Vuitton. This is the pocket organizer. This is actually a men's wallet. Uh, but you see how big this bag this is, and I can you know I can fit this in here with a ton of other things. My favorite lip gloss right now. I have two lip glosses in my bag right now, but this is one that I usually reach for. This one I usually reach for on like a you know everyday sort of basis. But then I also have this one in here, Variety. We need Variety. It's the spice of life. <laughs> this one I use when I go to the gym. But I also don't use this bag when I go to the gym. I use my Moon Bag by Uniqlo. But I always transition or transfer this from my gym bag to, to whatever bag I'm carrying. Because this is really good um, if you don't want a tent. This one has a tent. So I keep two lip gloss lip balms whatever you want to call it in my bag and i also have a hand cream pretty <laughs> substantial size uh item this is by fresh um i it's okay it leaves like a little bit of a i guess i don't uh, know another way to describe it but kind of like a little film on your hands but i'm gonna use it up because i bought it i usually use the uh i want to say it's maybe summer fridays unscented hand cream but they didn't have it in store i always gotta have my my headphones with me because sometimes you just gotta you just gotta put your headphones in okay so i always have to have my headphones with me i have <laughs> i busted open the halloween candy the other day so i had like a starburst in my bag and i don't eat yellow and orange starburst so we're probably gonna just throw that away uh oh y'all this i think every girl has this problem um i have two additional lip products in my bag this one is by nyx it is in the color i want to say it's tiramisu yeah it's tiramisu i have to use this with a liner but i want to show y'all what it look like it's super pink almost barbie pink um but it's it's cute enough for you to you like if you need you know a little one too <laughs> you can put it on and then of course this fancy clear gloss it's like disgusting looking right now because i've been using it with lip liner and other stuff oh here is another uh freaking yellow lemon lime or whatever you want to call it um starburst and then i always yeah i always have headaches so i have to keep something on hand for a headache whenever i'm having one and then the last thing in here my keys so that was a lot of stuff in this bag like i said this bag holds a lot and i think it's a good purchase if you're going to events and concerts and stadiums this is football season you know i don't this this video is not sponsored by telfar but i'm happy to be sponsored by telfar if you want to tell us if Telfar wants to sponsor me but I just really love me a good small bag and with it being football season and concerts are still a thing it's just a good bag to have so I hope you've enjoyed this segment of the video and I guess I'll see you guys when I get to maybe I won't see y'all when I get to the salon because this this is my first time you know with her and I don't want to, uh, I don't want to pull my camera out, which, you know, I don't mind not pulling my camera out because I'm still in that mode, but I will see you guys at some point later because it, it's still four o'clock and I still have like an hour and a half before my appointment. So I'm probably going to go to home goods. Like I said, I need to charge my phone up. So I might just sit in here in the car for a few more minutes and figure out where something is. Uh, I'm probably going to head toward the direction towards my appointment so that I can just already be in the area because it's rush hour with, you know, people getting off work and you just never know. It might be an accident or something. So with my luck... I will have a situation where I have an hour to get eight minutes down the street and I end up being late still. So I don't want that to be my first impression. So yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed that really quick what's in my bag segment of the video and stay tuned for the rest of the video. Thank you. Hey y'all, so I have found the salon and very close to the salon is a shopping center that has a Burlington a um home 
Goods, which that's where I'm going. And I thought I saw a Target, but it must have been this Burlington that I saw. Um, but they have a Burlington, um, a Home Goods, a DSW, and some other stores that I should not be going into. But, you know, I need to kill some time. So I am definitely about to pull up and go into this Home Goods. And I'm just going to walk down this little strip and see what else they got over here. Um, it is currently 425, so I still have a little bit, almost an hour. No, I got like a, a little bit over an hour left until my appointment. I'm probably gonna head over there at like, my appointment is at 530, and it's like literally five minutes, if that, away from where I am right now. So I'm just gonna go into this shopping center or go into this um, home goods and see what I can find. Cause y'all know I'm starting to get ready for Thanksgiving and I need like, I need a rug for my living room. Rug gate is still a thing. I wonder if the, cause they came to clean the rug, the carpet in Michael's room today. Cause MJ decided that Michael's room by the door was where he was gonna pee when we first, when we first moved in here and uh the stain was just horrible and the last time they came to clean it i'm rambling but this is this is a decent ramble the last time they came to clean it i didn't opt for like the stain remover like there's like a whole bunch of stuff so basically i paid about almost 400 dollars to have michael's room carpet clean because i was going to replace it with the wood that's th through the rest of the house but I'm just not ready to do that right now. So I decided, let me just go ahead and pay to get the stain out and the scent out so that MJ, MJ doesn't pee on the floor anymore, but just so that, you know, he won't be, he won't feel like he needs to because he smells it. Um, so yeah, anyway, <laughs> y'all know I be rambling, but I was saying, I called him out because I think I want to see if they can get my rug that I had in the living room, that white one, that stain where MJ threw up. Uh, I want to see if they can get that out, but it's been sitting in the garage for a long time, so they probably not, won't even be able to get it out. But if not, I'm just going to see if there's any cute rugs in Home Goods, and I also want to find some new bedding for my bedroom. I think I'm just going to go ahead and use somebody's uh, Brooklyn and Code. I think Jenny has one. Janae has one that I can use, so I will see you guys in a minute. So I did not see anything. I really didn't want to really look for anything anyway because I don't need to be spending that kind of money. So we're just going to chill out in the car until it's time for our appointment. So let me find my car. That find anything in there and I really didn't care to find anything to be honest though because I had already said that I'm not swiping my car just on a whim my car sounds weird um anyway so I didn't buy anything because I didn't really see anything so I'm just gonna sit here for a second and then I'll make my way back over to where the salon is and then I'll just wait a little bit over there i'm just gonna wait right here though because it doesn't matter where i'm gonna be sitting and waiting it's five seconds away so i'm just gonna sit and wait here so i probably won't see y'all again until after um i get my hair done but here's my hair right now it's just in its natural state i had finger coils in i think y'all if y'all remember yesterday i had finger coils in but she asked for for you to come detangled which like what am i detangling but my hair was pretty tangled with those coils so i just picked it out and yeah so this is what we're working with right now and i will show you the results once i finish good morning friends it is saturday it's vacation eve um and i'm headed to the beauty supply i I think I told y'all yesterday that I was going to get my hair done and it was a complete and utter fail like I could have I really could have done what was done to my head myself um I was trying to like have someone establish a care routine for my natural hair but it was a fail so 
what I am doing right now is I am headed to the beauty supply to get some um, a door color because I am in the process of going ginger. I think y'all know that I was ginger before. I think I was, yeah, I was ginger before. Well, it wasn't as prominent as this one is gonna be because I had, I didn't bleach my hair last time. So last time I just basically used the L'Oreal high color, like in the range of like auburn, copper, ginger, or whatever. And it was like pretty subtle. Um, but now I want it to be just ginger, okay? I'm like at a stage now because my hair is just not doing what I needed to do. And that experience yesterday just made me very much um, discouraged. And I'm just like, whatever. It's hair, it'll grow back. So let me show you what I did so far. <laughs> so, so far I have bleached my hair this morning. I'm super impulsive, if you guys did not notice when it comes to my hair, I really don't care. It's hair, it'll grow back. So I bleached my hair this morning and it's this like orangey, you know, kind of ginger color but we're not we're not stopping here so i'm i've been on tiktok i've been doing research on tiktok because i want i'm looking for like a specific uh look in terms of the ginger i don't want it to be red but i want it to have like a red undertone so i saw people using semi-permanent i typically would go for the um the l'oreal high color but I see people using semi-permanent, the adore color. So I figured, okay, let me just try this. Because at the end of the day, if it turns out horrible, I can either I can either shave my head completely or I can just dye it black. You know? So that's my logic when it comes to this. Also, I, I bought a a wig, a curly bob wig from Love Me Hair. So I'll have that in the fall and winter because I don't typically you know cut my hair this short in the winter time because i feel like it's too cold for that so i have like another option for my hair i hope this camera is not like whatever so i'm going to be supply right now and i am going to pick up some um adore colors and i'm going to do like a a custom color i'm going to mix a couple of colors together and hopefully that is my perfect shade of auburn I, i'm recording all of this process for a tiktok so i'll post the tiktok uh, once everything is done but from now on i'll just record what i'm doing on for youtube so i will see you guys when i get back home hey y'all so i'm back from the beauty supply and this is my hair in the indoor light um but i went and i bought four different adore colors it would have been bad if it was open. Uh, I bought four different colors by Adore. So the first one I have is Spiced Amber. The second one that I have is Cajun Spice. Third is French Cognac. And the fourth one is Cinnamon. I kind of feel like I wanted to just do Cajun Spice and Spice Amber because I saw that another girl with like the same skin complexion that I have used these two. But I kind of want to go and do some more research to see what I can do with these two. But then I'm thinking, let's just go with what that video showed. And then I will just basically have these on hand for when it's time to refresh. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm just going to go with these two. I'm going to mix them here in this bowl. And I'm just going to apply them to my hair and let it sit for however long it needs to sit. And then we'll see what happens. I'm thinking it should do what I really expect it to do because I'm looking at the viewfinder, y'all. Sorry. I really think it's going to do what I expect it to do. So, yeah, I'm not going to record this process because I'm not experienced and it's going to be messy. But I am going to be continuing to record for my TikTok video. So I will post whatever I record in the TikTok in this video after you know the final results so i will see you guys once i'm finished i don't know which black girl needs to hear this but bleach the hair damage the curls it's okay because at the end of the day what will you do you'll cut it it's fine you'll cut it you'll be a bad beat after you look good bald. your head shape is not as bad as you think it is look hey you guys i'm back so obviously the hair is finished i'm still getting used to it it's cute since 
you know, the last hour. I don't want to change it, but I ain't gonna hold y'all. When I first washed my hair, first of all, I washed it. When I washed the, the color out the first time, it was like, it was like orange. It was like, it was, it was, it was, I don't know. It was Auburn, but I mean, it was like ginger, but it was like, damn. So I ended up having to put the cinnamon on top of it. I put the cinnamon on top of the two colors that I had mixed together. And that's how I achieved this color. Um, I have all of the clips. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a reel or a TikTok or whatever, um, but we'll see. But right now I'm on my way to my um, wax appointment. Then I need to go get a, uh, then I need to go get a pedicure. Then I need to find a camera store because I can't get this little thing that you stick this in the tripod on, the little thing off. I, it's on there too tight and and I feel like I'm twisting it and it's just not, that the screw part is just not moving. So I need to find a camera store or something so I can get that taken off uh, because I need, to, I need to be able to use my traveling tripod for content in Mexico. Anyway, I'm looking at myself and I'm liking this even better, even more since I'm outside. So maybe that's what it was. I need this to come outside. But uh, I cut my hair even more. I think I ended up using the number five guard. Maybe I even went, skipped number five and went to number four. I don't know. But I felt like my hair wasn't curling up anymore and that's probably the issue that I have been having with my hair before uh, it wasn't curling up in the front um, and, and that's just frustrating my hair wasn't doing what I needed it to do so anyway I'm gonna get off this phone because I know when I have this phone here on my car it'd be doing that little weird shaky noise and I know that's kind of annoying so I will see you guys later
I oh, know that's right. Get your groove on. Hey, hey. Thank you. Welcome to Majestic Elegance. Thank you. for you, for the Moore family. And then friends, somebody said, Moore is coming. We want more for you to the airport. Thank you, Hugo. <laughs> Appreciate you. Okay, a favor. Could you keep your computer with you? Sure. The bag will be with me, Ted. Okay. Are my baby. Okay. My baby. Just the computer with you, okay? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's her birthday. She's turning the big four oh. Thank you. I, I mean, were you okay with me saying that? Oh yeah. Okay. Forty <laughs> is good. Like you look like you 30, 27. Look at all these rooms with happy birthday on them. Oh my god, it's so cute. Wait, is, are you a Libra? Scorpio. Oh, I was gonna say. Look at over there too. Uh-huh. Happy birthday. Dang, it's a lot of a lot of birthdays and honeymoon. What are we on this side? I didn't pay, so I don't think I did. Oh I gotta pay. Oh, we're literally side by side. Oh, that is. Oh my God! Look at that. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. I want you to. Can you go in your room though? Yes, that would be amazing. They smart. They smart, girl. Oh, this is so sweet. Okay. Look, you got a cake. Okay, hold on. Let me get my stuff. You got a cake. Thank you for this. You like it? I love it so <laughs> much. Excellent. Oh, Thank it's you. so pretty. My name on the bed. Oh, oh yeah. 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 She has no idea that I did this for her. <laughs> so I just made it to my hotel in Cancun and I want to do a really quick room tour. Y'all know how I do. It's going to be silent. So enjoy and I will see you guys later. Toodles!
y'all so as i said we just made it here um yeah we just made it here we just checked into our rooms my friend is right next door so i feel like i could if i wanted to i could walk over there because this can't be five feet like i'm five feet tall so i should be able to stand up in this i'm hoping so yeah i'm super excited to be here i'm super blessed now i'm going to go oh, what am i doing now i'm going to go in back in my room and get myself settled in so that i can uh get ready to go to the pool i think we're going to just get dressed and go let me put my phone my camera on the tripod please hold i'm about to run out of battery so as i was saying i'm gonna get ready Put a swimsuit on, put a cover up on. I think we're gonna go to the pool. Um, we're gonna get drunk today. It is what it is. So you may or may not see me later. It's already, it's three o'clock. It's not already anything. <laughs> it's three o'clock. We're already tipsy because we started drinking at Margaritaville at the airport because why the fuck not? Anyway, this video is, this, these videos, this video, however many videos it's gonna be, it's gonna be probably something that you've never seen from me. So I would love for you to just be open-minded. It's not gonna be crazy, but you know, I try to be professional, but I'm on vacation. I'm not working, I'm on vacation. So if you see something similar to one of those clips when I was in Seattle, then it is what it is, okay? Um, I'm going to enjoy life. My vibe right now is enjoying life. So that's what we're gonna be doing on this trip. I might be posting, I might be posting vlogs every day depending on how much content I get. Um, so yeah, if I don't post, post vlogs every day until Wednesday, I will be posting, you know, my normal vlog on Thursday, which is not normal because y'all know I've been having issues with iMovie so my vlogs are behind but those vlogs will be up before I post this content and I hope to at least post it, this content before by the time I get home or before I get home so stay tuned today is the first day um the room is amazing this is the majestic elegance in Cancun I will put the information to the hotel down below it was super reasonable we're staying on the adults only side and we have like the little swim up situation I thought it was supposed to be swim up from the pool but it's actually private I got a junior suite and that didn't come with a junior suite or at least I didn't think it did so yeah stay tuned for the rest of the content see you guys later